What's up everybody, this is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Guardians of the Galaxy Wave Nova figure, and uh, also known as the Groot Wave, if, if you're interested. But uh, here we have Nova in packaging. It's your basic um, new style packaging. It does stand up on its own. I've seen somewhere where they just keep falling over this way, but it does stand up. Um, I decided to pick up this Nova. I got them for, uh, what was it, $20 from Target. Uh, I did the online uh, online spiel or deal. His, uh, he's packaged poorly though. Uh, one of his shoulder pads are like pushed over, so hopefully when I get them out of package I can fix that shoulder pad. But anyway, on the side you have a picture of Nova on each side. Um, on the back, you have the rest of the figures in the wave. You have, sorry, get the glare out of there. Uh, Star Lord, Gamora, Rocket Raccoon, Drax, Nova, and uh, I believe that's Cosmic Iron Man when he uh, has a little run with the Guardians of the Galaxy. And there's the build a figure Groot. Um, I'm a really big fan of the way this Groot looks, by the way. I think they did a really bang up job on it. Um, sorry, everything is like falling over today and uh, but there's the picture of Nova if you want to read that stupid little bio the shortest bio of all time go ahead and pause it and read it if you want but let's get Nova out of packaging and take a closer look at him uh, be right back okay and we're back with Nova out of packaging and uh, I I'm really digging this figure I think it's the best Nova that we've gotten so far out of the uh, the two that we've got. So, uh, and I was never a big fan of that other Nova figure from, I believe it was from Hasbro. It just looked cheap and I don't know, it was just, it looked like a kit bash and I was never really a big fan of it. So, happy that we got this one. This one kicks the crap out of the old one. So, definitely uh, I would suggest getting this figure off the bat. Um, that was just my first glance. Um, but setting him aside for a second, he does come with the right arm of Groot. So, there you go. Looks pretty cool. Can't wait to finish Groot, put him together, and have the Guardians of the Galaxy team. Um, probably going to use that Groot on my, uh, to be honest with you, my comic as my comic book version of Groot. Uh, same thing with Gamora, because we're probably never going to get a Gamora figure that's comic book accurate. So I'll probably just do that and throw it with the, the Drax, and hopefully, I, hopefully uh, uh, <laughs> the comic version of Star Lord that's going to be in the SDCC 2014 exclusive won't be that pack won't be too hard to find, but uh, who knows with uh, exclusives and they always uh, jump up a price. But anyway, talking about Nova here, blah, 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 talk about something else. No, talk about the figure, stupid. Anyway, <laughs> um, his star uh, seems to be uh, pretty decently done. Um, I've seen some other reviewers where they're like, oh, his star is messed up and bent and whatever. Um, it's a soft plastic, so if you just use some hot water, you can re-sculpt it the way you want to. So that's really not that big of a deal, even if his star was a little crooked or whatever. I, you can just fix that. It's not a big deal. Um, with it being warmer out, I noticed that uh, his ankles, the ankles on this guy are really kind of, they're not so much loose. They're just, everything is, because he's a very soft plastic in his joints. As you can see, I can move his leg a lot. Um, it's kind of like a, a rubbery plastic material his his limbs are made of. Um, this is like a hard plastic, but his limbs are like a rubbery type plastic. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, similar to what the Bucky Cat mold is, but uh, yeah, because it gets warm out that these these limbs like to like to uh, bend and are kind of pliable so it's it's weird like I can bend his knee all the way out like that I mean I'm not going to because I want to break the figure but <laughs> they just uh, they just become a little bit more movable and I'm not a big fan of that so um, his ankle is a little bit loose 
on the pivot side. I'm not a big fan of that either, just coming out of the package. But, um, I mean, he stands fine, and he looks great. Um, I like the uh, this touch that they did with the adjustable shoulder pads. Uh, mine was a little warped in packaging, as you can see there. It's not lined up with the other one, but that's not a big deal. Uh, like I said, hot water, re, re, uh, reform it. Um, not a big deal. Um, but I think it looks great. I think this is a really well done figure, sculpting wise, everything. Um, there's a lot of sculpting going on with this guy, and it's really well done. I'm going to be honest with you. I can dig it. Can you dig it? I keep saying that. I keep watching the Warriors, that's why. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, yeah. Or New Warriors, he's a part of the New Warriors, but um, he does have his, uh, his Nova symbol on the back, and that is sculpted into the back, which is a very nice touch. All of these lines in his back, or on his back, I should say, um, are sculpted. Um, obviously, the shoulder pads are sculpted and they are t articulated. Excuse me. Um, is a, I guess if you want to call this a gauntlet, you can. That is sculpted as well. His belt is sculpted. Um, the uh, I believe the lions. No, the lions are just painted. Yeah, those are just painted on. I thought they were had divots or sculpted. Um, but uh, his uh, boots are sculpted. The lines in his boots are sculpted. He's pretty well done. His whole chest symbol for Novacore is sculpted as well. Uh, obviously, we got the new head sculpt. Um, as far as his articulation goes, um, his head does look up about that far, which is pretty decently done with using the uh, the ab crunch. Well, I guess maybe this ab crunch doesn't go too far back, but we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> um, his head does look up, so you can get him into a decent flying pose. Um, it does look down, more, more so down uh, for a range of motion, but he can do a full 360 at the head. Um, obviously, I told you that the uh, shoulder pads were articulated, so if you want to bring his arm all the way up, you can. And down, and full 360. He's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He's got a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge. Um, he also has the ab crunch. Going, I like a little bit more of a range of motion going back. There's not really much going back. And you would think with a flying uh, character, you would want to have him going back a little bit. But uh, it doesn't. Uh, he does have a waist swivel. He's got T-jointed hips from the Bucky Cat mold. Um, going out, forward, and back a little bit. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. He's got the... Uh, ankle hinge going forward and back, more so back than forward, and he's got the ankle pivot. So pretty decently done. Um, I do like this figure. I think he's uh, one of the strongest in the wave, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of the way that Star Lord looks, to be honest with you. I understand he's supposed to be uh, movie accurate. Um, but something, something about him is just a little off to me. I don't know what it is, but maybe when I get him in hand, it'll be different. Um, but this figure right here, talking about Nova, this is a very nice comic book accurate Nova. And I can definitely, definitely uh, recommend this figure, to be honest with you. He's a good one. If you were to get one first, I would say probably get this figure before the other ones. Um, even that Iron Man looks pretty decent. I, I actually really like this wave. Um, a lot of people don't like Gamora because she looks fugly or whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, I'll have to wait and form, formulate my own opinion on that. <sighs> but uh, yeah, so I should be getting the rest of this wave. Um, I did buy the whole wave. I just wanted to buy this guy f first. Um, but I did pre-order the whole wave, so whenever I get them, I'll finish the rest of the reviews. But for now, I only have Nova. So with that being said, um, I would definitely recommend this figure. Two thumbs up. It's very well done. I don't have any problems with any paint apps or anything like that. Nothing chipping. Um, no bleeding or anything like that. Uh, this is a, overall a very good figure, and I definitely recommend it. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys on the flip side.